morning. Um, chill. Okay, so last week, last week we made some bio fertilizer, and I just wanted to, because it, we've done a video so long ago, um, I wanted to do a bit of a garden update um, after that episode of the garden monster eating my kids, because so much has happened since um, that video. Um, that video, God Monster Ate My Kids, the temperatures was just starting to warm up and the garden was really flourishing. Since then we've had two little bouts of rain and then one really big bout of rain. And it's probably a week after that big bout of rain now. And you'll do the garden update now and you'll see that this garden has exploded in terms of life and just stuff happening. Um, and then there's a few things that, that have gone a little bit horribly wrong. Um, yeah, it's not all flowers and roses here. Um, we've had some duds, um, but let me let me show you the garden and and give you a bit of an update. Cheers, bye. What you want to show me? What? That's an orange tree. Here, watch out the asparagus. That's asparagus. It's growing nicely. And we've got one lemon. One little baby lemon here. Ah. Come, don't you touch it. I know you. Take okay. Diana. It's a lemon. Right, cool. Let's go. Let's go tell the people what's, what's happening in the garden. Okay, come. So right off the cuff, we've put down some wood chips. Wood chips, yeah. Yeah, that's to make the paths. I think we're gonna go with that for a little bit. Some wood chips. And we've got, we'll start on this side. We need to do it fairly quickly. And, oh, we need to walk nicely now because the butternuts and all sorts. And we've got the mealies. Look, what's this, Nene? Whoa, what did you get? A strawberry. Show me. <laughs> oh, wow. We put that one there the other day. That, we got that plant, that strawberry plant from Oma's garden, eh? We brought it, oh no, leave that one. It's not ready. Eat that one. You can eat that one, yeah. Okay. Then we've got the mealies that are pushing flowers now. Um, the butternuts, we'll need to look for a baby butternut. Where's a baby butternut? No, that's, that's something else, don't. Watch out, watch out. Maya ate our one butternut. The big one that I shared a picture of on Instagram. Where's another butternut? Ah, there's a baby butternut. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's a lot of them actually, if you start looking carefully. Um, this is the three sisters we talking about. You actually showed you how we made this bed a while back. So the, And then we've got beans that are busy flowering that are in the bottom here, yeah, the beans, and then the butternuts, and then the mealies. Mealies are a bit short though. Um, but I think one of my next videos will solve that. I think we don't have, we're very carbon rich in our compost, plant material and stuff, but not a lot of minerals, um, and trace minerals and things I think, but we are going to sort that out. Then we've put in the wood chips, or oh, that was project today. Then we've got another little row of mealies here. Look, we've got some more baby mealies. The pink flower. Don't pick. Don't pick the pink flower, no. Don't pick the pink flower. Then the basils, the tomatoes are out. They were looking a little sad. Um, so are the eggplants. I think we're going to actually just pull them out. Um, the eggplants were here. So the big update for the now is the, the chicken coop. So this is where this area here is where we'll be composting. Um, and then that's the coop itself. And the, there's gonna be a whole video on that. Um, one of the next videos will be the chickens. Puck, puck, eat your strawberry. And then we've got the beans, onions, and then all our, our trees. These now, oh, the moringas have taken off. That's really nice. Um, yeah, so we'll need to get these into the ground. The mangoes are looking really nice. Um, they keep a lot falling off. And then here's the chicken coop. Here's a sneak peek. Still under construction. Um, mangoes. 
and then our potatoes are almost ready to harvest you can see how they are starting to go um, yellow there now oh thank you Anne. and then we've done that um, hey you close the gate well done um, then now oh, the worm farm you know we've pulled out these tires um, lots of strawberries there nay nay go get some more I want one bring me a strawberry please um, and all this oh, just a quick update you can just basically show you what's happening um, then we've got some more eggplants in there I want to get some more spinach into the ground um, we had tomatoes yeah they didn't do too well I think there's a lot of shade here but we're gonna probably put the spinach in here and then yeah beans these beans are flowering I cannot believe that's happy days and then we've uh, I've got some uh, rhubarb and yeah some rhubarb in there some kale some more mealies um, grass up I see you some carrots and then here we've got some powdery mildew laden kale and cabbage and stuff and I need to sort that out um, yeah there's we we run into a bit of a problem um, which I'll talk to you about um, if you again if you followed on Instagram we've got this bit of biofertilizer 2.0 brewing in that one um, yeah that's what's happening at the moment um, next batch of little crops coming through some more mealies I've decided to do these from here in the tray instead of planting them directly because the grasshoppers get hold of them um, and I don't have any mint some of my mint brew I need to brew some anyway yes sorry no no you picked me a, a I don't know what that is what is oh it's a strawberry sorry thank you go say tata tricky Jose Well done. Okay, so that was a just a quick little tour of the garden. We've had a lot of feedback on our biofertilizer and uh, Mr. Whitaker from their school seems to be a fundi and this is what I love about the channel is if I had decided not to do the channel we would be going about our own business and no one no one would know but no one would be because they don't know they wouldn't be willing to share um, so Mr. Whitaker has very kindly shared a lot of information about biofertilizer and it's really good stuff so I'm gonna try one of his versions um, I've actually bought an almond the big blue drum bought a big drum and this so this is probably third or fourth actually cash investment into the garden that's to to make a proper dosage of biofertilizer so this is the drum this is what we're gonna plan on using to make some good fertilizer but you'll have to carry on watching to, to see that so there's quite a bit of stuff on the pipeline so please like subscribe and share this with your friends and family please cheers bye